hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to press puff vinyl on a sweatshirt okay so i ordered the sweatshirts yesterday and they got delivered today that is speedy delivery gfeshirts.com this is where i always order my sweatshirts and um or even shirts and hoodies so this is my favorite place to shop. I also ordered these um, HTV. One is a Puff HTV and the other one is Ultra Weed uh, HTV, which is just regular HTV vinyl. I want to try the Puff today and see how it turns out. I'm going to show you how to press it. So I am cutting the sheets uh, 12 by 12 because I know I can fit up to two designs here on these sheets and um, this way I can save on vinyl but I can also get a large image on it. Okay so I'm um, weeding it now and I find it very easy to weed because um, this is almost the same as the regular HTV um, which is not poofy of course this feels so thin like the other ones and um, it's like I said it's very easy to peel and not only that that you're able to see the design on the on the sheet I have tried other puff um, HTV from other places, which is Amazon, um, and they are very thick. The vinyl is so thick that you you have to tape it down to to the mat in order for it to stay down. And then when it cuts, you can never see your design. It's so hard. You need like a really bright light on it to be able to find. The pieces that you're needing to pull off the sheet but this one is so easy i am loving it so much um i don't know the exact name of it i think it's called cad cut puff vinyl but i'm not sure i will look for the link and i will link it in the description below um so yeah i am liking it so much also, one more thing that this vinyl comes with instructions, um, very easy to understand, of course, but the part where it says shiny side down on the mat, like we've always known, it's supposed to be shiny side down, but this one, the shiny part is the actual vinyl. It's not the back side of the, you know, the sticky tape or I don't know what it's called, I think it's the, the transfer tape. Um, it's supposed to be the shiny part, but in this, for this vinyl, it is not. The vinyl, which is the side of the vinyl, that's the shiny part. And I got confused and I put it, you know, I put shiny side down and it cut the wrong side. So I had to flip it and recut it and I was able to save it like it didn't get damaged or anything um, so I was able to reuse it but make sure that you check which side is the vinyl because you won't be able to tell which is the shiny side like for me I thought it was the other it was the vinyl side because it looked shiny <laughs> and the other side it didn't so make sure you pull up uh, one end or one corner of the sheet before you lay it on the mat just to make sure that you are putting it on the mat on the, on the correct way otherwise you're going to cut it wrong <laughs> Thank you. 
two designs on a 12 by 12 sheet. I'm telling you, it's all about saving vinyl. Okay, so now it is time to apply it to the sweatshirt. Um, I will be pressing the shirt or sweatshirt um, for about three seconds, four seconds, just to get the moisture out and any wrinkles. And then I will be applying the design. Okay, so then the instructions say that you need to have the temperature at 280 degrees Fahrenheit and you need to have the pressure set to medium to firm but I'm going to use medium uh, just because um, for puff you puff vinyl you don't want to have too much pressure uh, because it will not have that puffiness you know it'll flatten it so I like it puffy so I'm doing medium pressure and I will be doing the full 10 seconds. I tend to overthink it too much sometimes when I am centering the designs on my shirts or sweatshirts. And I shouldn't be that way, but that's how I am. Look at this. <gasps> it looks so pretty. It looks like embroidery. Look at, look at. So puffy. I like it. Wow. I'm so glad I ordered this because, I mean, I tried it before the puffy vinyl but it was from Amazon and it was not that great so this one it's so easy and the results are awesome I am going to be making four of these right now for now even though I ordered 12 but I'm just making four just to see how they turn out and to see if my customers will like it if any of you guys want to order one, um, don't hesitate to contact me or just go to my Etsy shop. I will be linking it in the description below and you can order through there. So the sweatshirts are the Jersey brand and the color is called Forest Green. It is a beautiful color. I've never used this color before. Last year, I only used the black, the red, and the white um, sweatshirts, or and also the ash color sweatshirts. This is my first time using the forest green, and I think it looks beautiful.
So all four sweatshirts are done. And I will hold off on the other sweatshirts because I am thinking about just um, putting on the Christmas trees on the sweatshirts and not the words Merry Christmas because personally, myself, I'd rather just have the Christmas trees. So I'm going to wait to make the other ones and make my decision later. For now, I will promote these and if they sell, well, they sell. And if people want them without the words, I can make it without the words. Like I said, these will be on my Etsy shop. And the link will be in the description below. I do hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share my videos and also to subscribe to my channel. And um, I am glad that you... Stay till the end. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.